Hello students, welcome to NEV Physics. I am Sunil Saha and in this video you will learn to derive the charge of an electron by Millikan's oil drop experiment. Now let's move to the content. The apparatus for the Millikan's oil drop experiment consists of two parallel conducting metal plates. There is a small hole at the center of the upper plate from where clock oil is sprayed by using atomizer. The droplets of clock oil are negatively charged by using X-ray. Then the motion of a single droplet of clock oil is absorbed between the two parallel plates by using a microscope. The motion of the droplet is absorbed in two conditions. Now let's move to the first condition. In the first condition, the motion of the droplet is absorbed in the presence of gravity only. When the droplet is falling freely between the two parallel plates, there are three types of forces acting on it. The viscous force and the off-thrust of air is acting upward, whereas the weight of the droplet is acting downward. When the droplet falls with a uniform velocity V1, which is also called terminal velocity, then in this case, the upward force on the droplet must be equal to the downward force. So we can write, viscous force plus off thrust is equal to weight of the oil drop. The viscous force F1 is equal to 6 pi eta rv1, where eta is the coefficient of viscosity and R is the radius of the drop. The off thrust of the air is equal to V sigma Z, where V is the volume of the drop, sigma is the density of air, and Z is acceleration due to gravity. Since the oil drop is spherical in shape, its volume is 4 by 3 pi r cube. The weight of oil drop is equal to mg where m is the mass of oil drop this can be written as v rho z where v is the volume of oil drop and rho is the density of oil this can further be written as 4 by 3 pi r cube rho z now substituting these values in equation 1 we get the following expression Now just rearranging and taking common factor, we get the expression for 6 pi eta rv1. Let this be equation 2. Simplifying this further, we finally get the expression for the radius of the oil drop. Let this be equation 3. Now we move to the second condition where we observe the motion of oil drop in presence of gravity along with the electric field. The electric field is applied such that the upper plate is positively charged. In this case, the negatively charged oil drop is attracted by the positively charged plate. So the oil drop starts moving upward. And during this upward movement, the oil drop attains a uniform or terminal velocity V2. In this case, there are four types of forces acting on the oil drop. The off thrust of air and the electric force is acting upward whereas the weight of oil drop and the viscous force is acting downward. So we can write, off thrust plus electric force is equal to weight plus viscous force. We already know that the up thrust of air is 4 by 3 pi r cube sigma z, where sigma is the density of air. The electric force Fe is equal to Q times E, where Q is the charge of oil drop and E is the electric field applied. 
Again, we already know the weight of oil drop W is equal to 4 by 3 by r cube rho z, where rho is the density of oil. The viscous force F2 in this case is 6 pi eta r v2. Here v2 is the terminal velocity of the oil drop when it is moving in the upward direction. Now substituting these values in equation 4, we get the following expression. Rearranging and taking the common factor, we get the following expression. Now substituting the value of the first term of right hand side from equation 2, we get the following expression. Then taking 6 pi eta r as common, we get the following expression. From here we get the expression for charge Q of the oil drop. Now substituting the value of r from equation 3, we get the final expression for Q which is the charge of oil drop. We know that the charge is always quantized, which means that the charge always occurs as an integer multiple of the charge of an electron. So, if n is the number of electrons in the oil drop and E is the charge of an electron, then Q must be equal to n times E. Finally, we get the charge of an electron E as Q by n. Thanks for watching. If you are finding the videos useful, please don't forget to subscribe the channel. Also press the bell icon for the notification of upcoming videos.